Hi guys, it's Lauren. Today I'm going to be doing my surprisingly requested hair care routine like what I use in the shower, what products like shampoo, conditioner, heat products, tips on growing out your hair, the backstory around my hair. I've gotten like a bunch of requests on my hair ever since I got like highlights and stuff in my hair. So if you guys would like to know about my hair, then keep watching. My hair is a little bit above my belly button, well actually almost a little bit above my belly button. I've been growing it out forever, ever since I got my hair cut up to here. Yes, my hair was literally up to here and I looked so ugly, like... I cut it after 7th grade summer, about like 2 years ago, because my hair was honestly so fried, so split endy, like it was honestly disgusting, like I'm so happy I did that now, but I was literally crying in my room for days and searching up videos like how to get my hair to grow in a week like I was doing like all these like hair masks oils eggs just so much stuff to get my hair growing but honestly all you have to do is wait I know that's like honestly like the hardest thing to hear I have dyed my hair so many times I think I've dyed my hair probably over 20 times like I did it by myself too like let's say in sixth grade I got a peekaboo because everyone loved those but now I'm looking back I was so like ugh. in seventh grade I bleached my hair underneath white my friend would do it my hair looked so bad because it was just so split endy so disgusting because bleach your hair it literally kills your hair and it just makes your hair look so bad and like i would like just bleach it at home and it'd be orange i wouldn't tone it it'd be like white too and like um, i would just do random pieces and then one, sometimes i would do pink and then i dyed my hair last year for my birthday brown and i went to the salon day brown and i did not like it so i did it again at the salon and it was the same thing so here i got two dyed brown my whole head for spring break I dyed my hair black from a box. Now looking back, I do not think I look good with dark hair. I look way better with light hair. So there I did my hair three times fully. And then at the end of the year in June, I got blonde again. So I've just dyed my hair a lot. And I've been dyeing my hair probably over, like my whole head, probably over a year now. And that's long as I've gone. And yeah, and I'm just saying don't dye your hair a lot if you want to grow your hair because it will kill your hair. But anyways, let's move on to what... I use for my hair. So the shampoo and conditioner I use right now is the coconut milk sh shampoo and conditioner and obviously you guys heard about this, this is really popular and I used to not like it because I thought like the shampoo would make your hair like all like ratty or like horsey in the hair and I would not like that texture but I use it again when I had like this hair now and it makes my hair so soft, so smooth. I honestly like just got a shower, well I didn't honestly just got a shower but my hair is out of the shower. I didn't do anything to it. This is my natural hair. I do have like, you know, like some like waves and curls and stuff, but it's honestly not that bad, but that is the shampoo and conditioner I use and I really recommend it because it's like, or, okay, I think I just splattered some of my hair, head. So probably a little bit over two months now, I dyed my hair or got like some highlights in my hair, some blonde. It's kind of like fading away now, but you can obviously like see them and stuff. And I'm planning on doing it again. I would recommend if you're like bleaching your hair or getting your hair lighter, do it at the salon because you don't want to mess it up because I have been there. So when I got my blonde in my hair, you're supposed to use like a purple conditioner. And I have a little bottle of my purple conditioner that the salon gave me. And... This is literally like pure purple dark blue. It's just really good to enhance your blonde and stuff. And I don't really use that much anymore, but I do still use this conditioner I got. It's the Bedhead Moisture Man. This conditioner is really good because I needed a lot of moisture in my hair after I got it dyed because you want to like... You want to put moisture in your hair after you get it dyed because you don't want it to get all dead or anything. So this really helped me. So I probably use about like this much and I still use it. Ugh. It's really a deep conditioned moisturizer and I really recommend this if your hair is like really dry and brittle because this helped a lot with my hair. So those are the shampoo and conditioners I use in my hair. So after I get out of the shower, I use my product It's a 10. This is the It's a 10 product and this is the Leave in Plus with keratin in it and I'm almost gone and it's like this just spray bottle and I use it after the shower. I use it today and I spray it like all my hair and my ends especially and it does like 10 amazing things. I'm sure you guys know what It's a 10 is but if you don't you can search it up or just get it because it's really awesome and it really like protects your hair with a lot of different stuff and I use this after the shower. If I feel like my hair is frizzy I use this Moroccan oil frizz control bottle and it's really amazing because it honestly does reduce frizz. So if your hair is frizzy, I would definitely recommend this. I have another frizz product, and this is the Frizz Ease Touch-Up Cream by Secret Weapon, I think. I don't know, that's what it says. But it's just like this thick cream, and I don't really use that much anymore, but I would use this like in the school, like after I'd be done spraying my hair, I'd just like rub it through my hands, and it would help a lot. It wasn't the best, but I still would use this, but 
this is a good product if you have frizzy hair. My last like kind of cream product I have is the Bedhead After Party. I use this after I'm done straightening my hair and it literally makes your hair look oh, like a goddess. And I love Bedhead. Bedhead is amazing. This is actually my friend's. So if you're watching this, hey friend. Smoothing cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. And it literally does all these things. Make your hair so shiny, so smooth. And just like after you're done straightening it, if you put it in, it just makes your hair so sleek and just amazing. I would recommend this if you want shiny looking hair. These two spray products I have is by the same product, like the organic company. And this is the Quench Sea Moisture Mineral Shimmering Weightless Moisture Replenisher. I said that really weird. But it's just a spray and I'm almost out of it. It's good if you have like damaged hair and stuff because you spray it on and it makes your hair so like silky and so shiny. Like it's honestly amazing and it kind of makes a beachy look. It makes your hair so Nice looking. So my heat protectant, I recently got the Brazilian Keratin Therapy Flat Iron Spray Ever Straight product from the organic company. Again, that's what it's called. It's honestly, my friends even say this, when I put in my hair, my hair literally goes stick straight. Like, I'm not even kidding, my hair can go stick straight. Like, it's that amazing. And it's like a heat protectant. So I would really recommend this. It comes with like coconut oil, avocado oil, cocoa butter. And just hold your hair really straight and it works throughout the day. I would really recommend this if you're looking for a new heat protector. So I'm going to show you guys the heat stuff I use in my hair. Something fancy because I don't really need any fancy. But I'm sort of my curling iron. I barely like curl my hair. But when I do, I usually use this curler. I'm just trying to tie it up. I usually use this curler. It's really old. It's just like a basic curler wand. It's by Con Air and just like the clamp thing. Because when I do the wand, it literally makes my hair look like a little spiral. And I do not like that. I don't think it's cute on me. And this is really old, I think. But that's what I use to curl my hair. The straightener I use right now is just my friend. Because we would get ready before school in the morning at my house. So she just like kept us over at my house. So I use it. It's the wet to straight um, straightener. But yeah, I use this. And it's really good because it makes your hair straight. I mean, it does the job. So... I do hate those straighteners that doesn't keep your hair straight all day. Like, I've used those and I'm like, really? So that is all the stuff I use for my hair and how I keep it how it is right now. And I barely straighten or use heat in the summer. So if you want to grow your hair, just don't use heat in the summer because it's the summer. I mean, you want to grow out your hair for school. So just keep your hair natural because I'm sure you're beautiful anyways. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching today's video. Please leave some requests in the comments below because I honestly am like something with some video ideas because I'm trying to get on a good schedule. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video and I love you guys with all my heart. See you next Saturday. Mwah.